Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are Pull on the Call podcast. My name is Mandy Mack. And I am Chris Rivers. And today we are so excited to be here with pole dancer Lacey. Yay! <laughs> hey, Lacey. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Thanks yeah, so much thank for... Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> yes. oh, I love that board. <laughs> I just have right? to everybody's attention. <laughs> All righty. So, um... What brought you to pole dancing around when did you start pole dancing? Um, well, I'm pole newbie. <laughs> I started, I took my first pole class in July with you guys. So um, I was just looking for something to do. Uh, and pole just seemed like a challenge and fun. So I was like, let me give this a try. So I found you guys on Instagram and I was like this place looks like a good place to check out and I was 100% right <laughs> too funny thank you so much for sharing that um <laughs> wow I didn't realize you're that new that's awesome you'd be killing it <laughs> right yeah yeah it's been so amazing to watch your progress and I wanted to say too like thank you so much for wanting to be interviewed like at such early on in your journey because oh. it's a really special time in your journey and and <laughs> It's really cool to hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and did you have any dance background before or um, any want for dancing or, or gymnastics or anything before you started? I have a little bit of dance background. I danced pretty uh, regularly and like um, competed in dance competitions when I was like younger, when I was like in my, you know, when I was like eight or nine. I did that kind of stuff and I really liked it. Um, I stopped doing it when I got into high school, uh, for reasons I can't tell you. <laughs> it just, when high school came around, I was like, well, uh, well I got to do high school things now, <laughs> but I really did love dancing and I still love dancing. You know, I love watching people dance, you know, um, I do dabble in like doing dance over the years. I've done belly dancing classes. I love yoga. So you know, I'm always, I'm always put my toe into like movement stuff. <laughs> so. I love it. Have you found that and um, some of that experience has helped you in pole dancing that you're able to carry it on? Um, a little bit, you know, like I did like j mostly jazz dancing when I was in, when I was doing dance. Yeah. So like, I know like, you know, time signatures and stuff like that. <laughs> I can listen to the beat of the music and kind of get that, but I think that's as far as it gets me. <laughs> I love that you have to you have to make it like a jazz piece. I would love to see a pole piece like that. <laughs> Do like a cabaret sort of style pole? That'd be great. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, love it so much. Do you want to share with us what your experience was on your very first pole class? very first pole class, I had no idea what to expect. I went in with no preconceived notions. Like, I have no idea what this is about. I have no idea what they expect from me. So I just went in just like, we're just trying whatever they throw at me, we're going to try, <laughs> you know, because it was just, pole has just something that I've never experienced. And I don't think a lot of people, ex like, they go out and just pole dance on the regular unless that's like their profession or they're already involved in it so I just went in and I was like whatever you know we're just going for it just going head first into it so and you know it was a great experience I was a little nervous and still am nervous being on the pole because it is still pretty new but you know, you guys are great instructors, you know, you guys see where people are at and you help them along, you, you know, and it's great. <laughs> thank you so much for that. And thank you for sharing that because um, oftentimes a lot of people won't take that first step because they're so nervous. And I love that you just said, you know what, I'm going to do it. No expectations. It's so important. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ray, I love also that you went by yourself too. And I think a lot of, a lot of people go with friends as like a buffer, but like, if you don't, like, I also went by myself cause I, I just wanted to go and I knew that I didn't want anyone to stop me <laughs> from going. Yeah. 
I can relate to that because I, I do, I'm like a solo person by nature. I don't know. So like, if there's something I want to do, I'm just doing it. Like, you know, I put out the feelers, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to, I'm going to go live my life and do what I, I feel like I want to do. <laughs> I'm hoping to get more people involved. You know, some people have, have asked me about it. So I'm hoping I can, I can get them to come with me. Yes. yes. <laughs> whole word I love it yeah <laughs> yes. well and then uh, so what keeps you coming back to pole just to see where I can go every class I feel like I learned something new or you know even if it's like the smallest thing it feels like an achievement you know so that feels great like I never walk away feeling like oh that was a waste of my time. Like never. I always feel like, well, I learned something new or, you know, this is something I can work on, you know, and you guys are great with feedback. Like, you know, the conditionings that I can do at home with or without a pole, it's all been great. <laughs> yes. I love it. And you're, you have so much patience with yourself too. And like, I have watched you like the other day, Lacey climbed the pole. <laughs> it was so amazing <laughs> i got the one climb in yeah you were like you were holding it you were so solid and then i saw you go <laughs> up and i was like <laughs> yeah, yeah. i wish i could have seen that <laughs> I, love it. I wish i could have been there next time though you'll be doing more climbs yeah <laughs> right but you're also so good at like just reminding yourself like out loud that that you need to have patience about it and that also like helps me <laughs> to remember that too so I really appreciate like having you in class oh um, you've been <laughs> like not only has it been fun to watch your progress but you are also amazing to have in class and you're really enthusiastic <laughs> yeah well I I it's you know historically that's not my attitude in life <laughs> like I've had very little patience with myself like historically but with this I was like this is not a thing that I've ever done like how am I supposed to know if I don't keep trying or practicing you know it's all about you know just listening to your body and just having patience like normally I'm like a person I'm like if I'm not good at it like right off the bat like it's not worth my time but I I wanted to change that with pole because I feel like and seeing people do it over time like seeing the progressions of others I'm like yeah I, if I put my mind to it I can do it I know I can do it I have faith that I can do this so and just like you guys have mentioned that I haven't been polling that long and I'm impressed with the stuff that I can do you know I never thought that I could climb a pole like I've never been one for upper body strength or anything like that so being able to do that I'm like wow never in my wildest dreams <laughs> right that was definitely like that you're like oh like now I'm climbing the pole and then like a few months later or whatever timeline you have it's like, oh, now I'm upside down. And um, yeah. like, <laughs> and then what else am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, I that's, love it. You know, that's the goal to see where I can take it. <laughs> yes. uh, <laughs> so currently, um, this is like a two for question. How often are you able to pole dance? And what kinds of classes do you like? Do you like the trick classes or like the choreo classes? Um, well, right now I'm trying to go at least two to three times a week. That's my goal, hoping to do more. Um, and I also have a pole at home. So I do some conditioning at home and, you know, whatever tricks I can fit in my little space, <laughs> you know. So um, in the classes that I've been taking, I've been taking pole one on and sexy flow and both of them I like. Um, um, I like the sexy flow class because I like the mixture of the dancing and the tricks, but I would also love to get better at doing tricks because that's, I think that's the impressive part of pole is like doing the tricks. You get on the pole and you're just doing all the stuff and people are like, oh my God, <laughs> you know. So I would like, you know, I like the mixture of both. I definitely understand that. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> and Mandy be killing it with that sexy flow, adding the tricks to the floor work. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sometimes we add tricks, but you're right. It's like we can't just keep dancing. Like 
we can't keep dancing like that. We have to show some tricks, I guess, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good combination because I love, I love dancing. I love the flow of it and everything. And, you know, I feel like dancing gets me out of my head a little bit. So yes, like same. part, like it helps me just kind of, you know, whatever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. And like learning the tricks puts you back in your head and you're like, <gasps> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a favorite pole trick yet? Or do you have a, a pole nemesis? <laughs> <laughs> well, considering I'm so new at pole, there's a lot of tricks that, you know, are remain to be seen, I suppose. <laughs> but um, I do like being on the spin pole. I like doing like the spin tricks. Um, like I like doing the front hook spin is like, I guess like my classic move right now because it looks pretty good and I'm pretty good at it right now. <laughs> Working on my back hook, um, you know, eventually I'd love to do like inversions and stuff like that, get to that level. It was like where I'm, where I'm shooting for soon enough. <laughs> uh, we'll get you there fast from a jazz spin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So much. The fun. fact that I can hold that Jasmine on my own now is amazing. Because the first time yeah. I ever did it, someone had to hold me up. So Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you did the Jasmine and then you did the, the head flip too and you were like rocking it. Yeah. <laughs> so I can I hold it up. It. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Do um do you have any like future plans in pole do you like do you want to compete or do you think you would want to teach in the future <laughs> um I would love to compete like that's sort of like a more short-term goal of mine is like I would love to compete or at least just perform you know it doesn't even have to be like a competition just to like just to be on stage and show what I have is like, you know, sh kind of like a shortish term goal, like a long term goal. Like, I don't know if I would like teach, but like movement teaching isn't like out of like the possibility for me because I've thought about doing like being a yoga teacher. So, uh, so you know, being a pole teacher, maybe we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely do it. I started with yoga, my yoga certification so I can do one-on-one -on -one and then went to pole. You can definitely do it. Oh, I can't wait. That's exciting. <laughs> yes. And you can even do it alongside your um, massage therapy training. If yes. you want to talk about oh. that. <laughs> Although I keep trying to talk you out of it, but you should do that. You should. <laughs> I'm like, stay in the pole dancing world. I know, I know. I'm like, I picked the weirdest time to like start something new, like both things. So I was like, well, you know, but like, that's me. Like I have to like change my whole life, like drastically, <laughs> you know, at one time, but that's just me, you know. I love it. <laughs> Maybe you'll become the well. next massage therapist to the pole stars. Yes. Specialize in massage yes. therapy and pole dancing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could definitely practice on me. I'll you might not want to. <laughs> I'm really like the, the most terrible person to massage. Everything's so tight. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. We talked about do you what do you did. I was about, I'm going to ask one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you do, um, I know you're interested in yoga. Do you still currently do any other cross training um, now that you've added pole two to three times a week? Um, not as much as I should. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I know the importance of like doing stuff out of pole, you know, weight training and cardio and stuff like that. And I was going to the gym pretty regularly uh, before pole. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I need to get back on that, you know, and, but I'm also looking into like exercises that like do contribute to helping with pulls that I'm not just like at the gym doing whatever, you know, I look, I'm trying to look up like, what will we'll help with upper body strength or help with grip or, you know, stuff like that. So I'm like researching all that stuff and I need to actually like go out in the world and do it. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Thank you for sharing that, because oftentimes we interview people and they've already done all that. 
and now you're going through it and people can actually see you're um, putting the research into it, which is awesome. And you're trying to make it work because oftentimes we do start poll and we stop everything else for whatever reason. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it is awesome that you're getting back into it and putting the research into it to see what works for you for cross training and how you can get better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for Everybody sure. needs to start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, and making a plan for yourself is important, and and also like not following it always perfectly too and and listening to your body is good too yeah yeah <laughs> like I got my home poll and I was literally on it every single day and I was like that's, <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> right like right like sometimes I'll poll dance for like three hours and I'm like oh no yeah what have I done? <laughs> like it's really like a lot so I have to like you know, I have to make like a plan, like, yes. like doing like, you know, weight training or doing like pole conditioning and doing like yoga yeah. and stuff like that. So yes. <laughs> I, have to, I have to sit down and like make a plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you say you were into martial arts as well? Uh, yeah, I did like Kung Fu, like for a brief moment in time. Um, <laughs> I might have been too much of like a silly goose for such a disciplined art form. <laughs> it wasn't for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's right. Paul is here for you. <laughs> it is. It is. Is Kung Fu really that crazy discipline? There are a lot of rules in a dojo. For sure. Oh I was not expecting. Well, I'll say the one that I went to was pretty, like, I was not expecting all of the rules and all that stuff. And I don't know if it's, like, for all places, but, like, I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you were like, we don't. <laughs> I think I would too be like funny. that, too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. yeah I always wanted to try martial arts but I never did Same. I didn't realize that some places are that crazy discipline I'm kind of like you like I want to try it and enjoy it don't I did basic training I ain't doing it again <laughs> <laughs> right is it a whole new life <laughs> oh yeah it, uh, but um, it, th I did Kung Fu and I also did Tai Chi for a bit and those are like more fluid dancey ones. Yes. So like, yeah, I was more uh, going to that type. The Tai Chi was a little bit more chill, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. So well-rounded. Yes. Well, what kind of pole grip do you use on your hands and your body? I <laughs> use a healthy amount of grip it. <laughs> <laughs> it comes it's like it's like a liquid and it comes in like it's a red label on it and has like dumbbells on it it's it's very intense looking <laughs> but um yeah I uh I'm a pretty slippery person on the pole so like I need I needed something good so if you're slippery uh, <laughs> maybe try that because it is very sticky so <laughs> I've never heard of grip it yeah, oh, um, a girl came into the class once, like one of the classes, and she said that it was really good. And I tried it, and I was like, "It is." So, <laughs> <laughs> excellent, nice. I feel like you're the first person that said one that I have never heard of. Oh, everyone usually says done. dry hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the most common one. And I'll pr I'll have to try it since everybody like is. You it's haven't like even tried it. Don't I'm try it. Sure. Like everyone <laughs> says that it's, you know, that's that it seems like that's the industry standard. So I'm gonna have to try it. <laughs> everyone it, it, first. Right? Yeah. A lot of people definitely use it, but it's not my goal to um, yeah. especially after I started using others, I found for my skin type there's better out there. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, I would say if you like the grip that you're using, I, I wouldn't I would say don't worry about trying any other ones. Then you found the golden ticket. 
<laughs> it works for you. Who knows? Maybe I might change. Like you said, uh, during the seasons, bodies yes. change during the season. Uh, so maybe I might need to sh- switch it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to try that grip it, though. I like trying new grips. See what looks better. Grip it. Grip yeah. it. <laughs> it's, it's it's very intense looking. <laughs> Grip it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, do you have any advice for other beginner pollers? Uh just do it. A lot of people get nervous trying new things. I say, just do it. Like, yeah, you're probably gonna feel super silly and weird and awkward. But if you're having fun, does it really matter? Uh, and yeah, have patience with yourself because this stuff is no joke. <laughs> it is fun, but it is it is difficult. It is difficult. Like people ask me like after a few poll classes, like, how is it? I'm like, I love it, but it is difficult. Like I'm not even going to lie about that. It's difficult in that I'm using my body in ways that like I don't use my body. <laughs> So, you know, it takes some getting used to, and I think just getting over that initial like nervousness, you know, which I don't really care. I just go out and do stuff. <laughs> and right, Lacey, <laughs> I love you so much too, because you also, um, you, you document your pole journey online and you've been inspiring people with your posts and like, you know, these are our posts of a beginner polar and you and you are just like this is the beginning and I know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> and that's kind of like once I once I went to that first class and I'm like okay yeah this is something that I really I'm gonna put effort into it and I'm like and I want to document it and I want to document it in a way where it's not like all beautiful Instagram posts where it's like, I'm nailing it every single time, you know? And I'm like, no, I'm not nailing it. Like, I'm not nailing it, you know? And like on like Facebook, like people are like, oh my God, you look so great. And I'm like, yeah, but these are like the faces that I'm making. And like, like these are, it's not cute most of the time. <laughs> So like oh I really want to show that side of it because I think a lot of people see anything like movement art, regular art, whatever, whatever. And people are a lot of people are just posting like their best work, which is fine, you know, whatever. But like I want people to see the like it's you know you start somewhere. Yes. <laughs> you start somewhere so and it's not always beautiful or pretty. Yes. <laughs> so true. Do you find that documenting and recording actually helps you with your progress? Yeah, uh, because then I look back and go, oh, okay, I was there, now I'm here. Like, even if it's just a little bit, you know, like, I recorded myself like a whole day just doing pole (laughs) climbs, and I watched them and I said, okay, at that time, you did you you were strong there and your legs are here and you did this and you know so it's 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 nice to see like even just for my own self just to see where I'm at you know and it's good to look back to I love that you say you get the feedback from (laughs) right (laughs) right I love that you get the feedback from looking at your body too because like I don't know. I now want to like always look at myself in the mirror when I'm doing things, but when you have it on the video, you can really see like, Oh, my arm is like weird, but I thought it was there. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And then you can just like learn, learn by watching your own body because we are working with our own bodies. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Our own shapes. Yeah. Y'all heard it here. It really does make a difference if you record yourself. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? And then you'll inspire everyone else in your circle, too, if you start to post it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really hope so. Like, I, and then not just with poll, with, like, anything. Like, I hope people can see that, like, starting something new is scary and, like, weird and awkward, but, like, over time you'll get better at it. You know, you just have to be consistent and patient. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, love it. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, there's so much value in being a beginner and starting something new and like going through all of that process. Cause like how boring would it be if we went to everything? We were just good immediately. Yeah. Like that, would, yeah. that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
would get like a big head. Like just yeah. walk around like, uh, <laughs> like you gotta find <laughs> better challenges because then they make you grow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely like a growth process. Like I'm definitely using pole as like a growth process for myself, you know, like, like I said, historically, like zero patience with myself. Like if I'm not good at it, we're just not doing it type of attitude. And I'm like, yeah, we need to leave that behind. We have to, we have to grow and like be patient with everything. So for sure. Yeah, pole really gave that to me too. I was not a patient person. Now I'm patient with myself and others because I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so I have another question that wasn't on the list, but um because I know you've been doing it oh now almost two, three months. Do you have any Instagram or Facebook pole dance inspirations that you've started following since you've started your journey? curious um, to hear I have been following a couple um polars uh I follow um her name is like indigo shapeshifter she's a polar kitty velour I just found I love her <laughs> um I've been following a lot of like black owned polars on uh pole studios online and those are wild. And I love when they post <laughs> reels. I'm like, oh my God, I could watch those for hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are just crazy. <laughs> they do a lot of floor work, which I think is well, floor work and tricks, but like, I'm all, I'm all about that floor work for them. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for sharing that. I'm about to add more floor work and twerking some my awesome stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like twerking. I <laughs> I bought I bought Kitty Valor's like twerking tutorial. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like your way. <laughs> oh my gosh! All the times we tried to twerk in class. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> There's more involved than I ever imagined. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, once you learn, you'll have to teach everyone else. <laughs> right. Twerking <laughs> workshop. I thought I, <laughs> yeah. I thought I knew how to twerk until someone said, not so much. I was like, then what am I doing? Just breaking my hips for now. <laughs> Apparently it's in your hips, your thighs. It's like yeah, everything. It's a lot of hip rotations and like less booty. Like I was always thinking it's all about the booty, but it's like more about the hips. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought too. It's all about the booty, and it really apparently is not. No. <laughs> right. I feel like I would just rely on momentum. <laughs> I, you know, I that's what I thought. But no. <laughs> Incorrect. Oh. <laughs> We have oh, to use our true. muscles once again. Right, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Another certification <laughs> for the future. It's working certification. Yeah, for the future I, for Lacey. I will become a twer <laughs> certified twerker. I love <laughs> yes. it. We're going to check up on you in a few if, in a year. <laughs> when yeah. you are all certified. Get that, get that twerk certification. <laughs> I how I give everyone a timeline. I'm like, in a few months. <laughs> we will come back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. All of these plans for the future brought to, brought to you by poll. But you right. didn't even like you were just like, I'm just gonna take this. Yeah. Now <laughs> now now I got now I gotta get poll twer uh twerking certificate <laughs> certified. <Yeah. laughs> I, it's so funny though, like we, we walk into poll class and then we're like scooped up into this whole community of like opportunities and we're like all right, I guess I'm here now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. Don't forget your massage therapy for pole stars or pole dancers. Right. Yes. So necessary. <laughs> yes. Massage therapist to the pole. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Funny. <laughs> and then, so uh, the other day in class, we were like, we said our name and everything, and then we said a fun fact, and then Lacey's fun fact. <laughs> was very fun and interesting. <laughs> Do you want to share a oh, fact about yeah. yourself? My human teeth collection. 
<laughs> oh, gee. Yeah. So how did that happen? <laughs> well, I went, uh, well, I went to school to be a dental assistant and my working <laughs> hours, I was, I worked at a uh, oral surgeons. And so most of the time people don't want to keep their teeth. So I just kept them because why not? <laughs> why not? So I have a little thing of teeth that I just think is fun to throw out there. <laughs> And dead. <laughs> we all have our things, that's for sure. I have a collection because I was a CNA for years, uh, and every time like my patient would die, I would collect their little wristband. <laughs> Just so I can remember them. <laughs> I so we definitely all that. have our things. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if, my, if my camera was facing the other way, you could see my many skulls and uh, wet preserved animals. <laughs> wow, Lacey. <laughs> There's so many layers to Lacey. <laughs> yeah. Be multifaceted. That's that's what I say. It's boring yes. being one thing. <laughs> I love it so much. Well, Lacey, Life you also got to be one thing. Yes. That's so true. Like, let's be everything and like just see where it takes us. <laughs> right, right. I was like, I just like say, like, I just throw a spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. <laughs> <laughs> it sticks I love it cooks, though. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And Lacey, you also like. Um, I appreciate you looking out too because we were all interested in finding more places for pole dances to perform. And I know I haven't released this information yet, but <laughs> but you um, recommended a place in, in Connecticut and we've been in talks with them and we're going to have a little pole performance there in December. So if you are interested, I know I'm asking you live on the air, <laughs> <laughs> but I got really excited when you said that your plans for the future were to pole perform because that could be in your very, very near future. And that was inspired by you and your, um, your tip. <laughs> to contact them I'm so, I'm so excited that's happening because it's a like it's a bakery that I love and <laughs> like I love supporting them and I love you guys so like the two coming together yes place for me to perform I will do it I will do yes. it <laughs> no. which contrary yes. to everything I just said about being really spooky I love Christmas so. <laughs> you funny <laughs> <laughs> maybe I you just know. love all holidays you love celebrating yeah, yeah. That might we're be like true. the jack skeleton we love the halloween <laughs> and the christmas that's true yeah, yeah. You combine it <laughs> yeah i'm not sure i it's definitely going to be a sweet theme i'm not sure what it's going to be yet but um you you inspired more poll performance opportunities so i want to thank you for that and i hopefully oh, we'll have more more coming from this because it's something that we hear a lot that pole dancers just want to like dance and <laughs> yeah. yes it, and have I an audience a hole in the wall. yeah <laughs> i don't know a lot of like places that's like outside of like strip clubs that like mm -hmm. do pole performances mm -hmm. and it's not always you know stripping which is you know a fair comparison but not an accurate one uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and I've watched, you know, many poll performances like on Instagram and on YouTube and stuff. And I'm just like, people, more people need to see this stuff because it's amazing. <laughs> yes. So we're going to bring it to a bakery. Yeah. That, that uh, makes sense. <laughs> so poll in the wall students, you heard it here. It's coming. Yes. Get ready in <laughs> December. We're going to dance in a bakery and there's vegan cupcakes and they're so good. I guess we should say that the place, Hardcore hardcore Sweets. Yeah. In Watertown, Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Awesome cupcakes. Yes. Awesome yes. staff. Everyone's great. <laughs> Shout out, supporting pole dancers. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I think that was all of the questions that I had for Lacey. <laughs> I think there's another one. What do you like to do as your muggle job? Any other, excuse me, hobbies? <laughs> um, a muggle job is really boring. We won't get in a muggle job. <laughs> um, 
but um you know i'm about to start like massage school in like a couple of weeks actually um but other than that i love going on hikes i love hiking uh i love reading i'm hardcore sweets also does a book club so if you're into reading come join us <laughs> um love reading i dabble in different sorts of art like i can draw i do taxidermy as well so <laughs> so yeah we should have been like is is there anything lacy that you do not currently do <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> i'm just kidding lack of all trades <laughs> Oh, I just want to say you're um, having you in the studio has made um, I know our, the studio life a little brighter and you you've been so enthusiastic and you have lots of ideas. So I just want to thank you again for, oh. for being part of the, our community. <laughs> and I'm so glad to be a part of you guys. <laughs> like, you know, I saw you guys on Instagram and I was like, this is, feels like the place that I want to be. And I 100% made the right decision. You guys are amazing. You know, you guys are bringing lots of stuff to the community, um, like the community of Pole and like otherwise, you know, you guys do the photo shoots. You make everybody feel like no matter where they're at at Pole, like they, you make them feel so involved and so like great, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Lacey. <laughs> feeling so much so much better you know even if my week yeah. has been crap I go to poll and even though like it might be stressful for me sometimes doing poll like I never leave feeling like ah I always feel so much better <laughs> yes. thank you so much we oh, truly do love y'all we y'all y'all are the reason why we do it for sure oh. yes for sure <laughs> oh th thank you so much Lacey for sharing your story and Oh, and the welcome. beginning part of your poll journey. Yeah. <laughs> you can have an update as you yeah. go on your journey and maybe like as you compete and as you become a twerk. <laughs> <laughs> a twerk. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> and and whatever else comes in the future and your massage therapy. Too. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hope it's a good update and I'm hoping to do poll for the long term like, you know, there's no there's no end. There's no ending in sight. So like, I just want to like, keep going, perfect what I know, learn new things, you know. Love it. Yeah. That's the goal. Is there anything else? I know, right? Is there anything else you would like to share with um, people listening? Anything at all? Um. If you're interested in poll, just do it. I highly recommend it. Just <laughs> do it. it. <laughs> just do it. it. It'll, even if you feel like you're not ready, just doing it will make you feel ready. You know, don't yes. wait for anything. Just go and do it. <laughs> yes. Oh. I love so it. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Lacey. I guess oh. we should sign, uh, sign out. Okay. <laughs> we should sign out. Well, Thank you so much for listening or watching to this wonderful episode of Pole in the Call podcast with our amazing pole dancer interviewee, Lacey. My name Yay! is Sandy Mack. And I am Chris Rivers. <laughs> and we are we oh signing off. Oh, I didn't tie my lace. <laughs> You're and too I'm funny. Flexing. Oh, Ooh, look at those ah. feet the black ones. Nice, Lacey. Ooh. Yes, I love those. I love a good red heel. <laughs> Thank you. 